Hello friends, welcome to the practice session of drawing lines. In this session, we are going to practice drawing lines using polar coordinate method. Let us observe the practice drawing. In this drawing, there is a big horizontal line and some small angle lines shown with angle and length. The first line is shown with 45 degree angle and 50 units length. And the second line is shown with 30 units length and 45 degrees. But if you observe, the first line is showing this direction with 45 degrees and the second line is showing in the opposite direction but with the same 45 degrees. So here you need to understand one point. The start point of the line is always to be treated as origin. And from this origin, if you go towards the right side, that is 0 degrees angle. From the origin, if you go towards upside, that is 90 degrees. For the first line, it is okay. Means the start point is here and if you go this right side direction, it would be 0 degrees. So from 0, it is 45 degrees. But coming to the second line, the start point is here. And from here, it is 0 degrees in the right direction and towards upside, it is 90 degrees and towards left side it is 180 degrees. This line is 45 degrees less than 180 degrees which means 135 degrees. I will show you with the dimension. Dimension from this line to this line is 135 degrees you can observe over here. Similarly, the third line is shown with 75 units length and 45 degrees angle means the line start point is here on the horizontal line. And from here, if you go right side 0, upside 90, left side 180, this line is going 45 degrees beyond 180 degrees line. Mean 180 plus 45, 225 degrees is the angle of this line. Similarly, this line is 45 degrees going in the negative direction. You can say it is in minus 45 degrees or you can say this line here, it is this line angle is shown 45 degrees in the negative direction. So this can be treated as minus 45 degrees or if you check this in the right side it is 0 degrees towards upside 90, left side 180, downside 270. It is extending beyond 270 degrees means it is 360 minus 45 or 270 plus 45 which means 315 degrees. And this is directly shown as 90 degrees line. Let us practice this, how to draw these angle lines. Now, I want to tell you about object snap. Object snap is a concept which is used to connect points accurately. While drawing lines or any objects, we have to use object snapping. Without object snap, we cannot snap the points accurately. Let us understand it clearly. Say for example, you want to draw a line from this end point to this end point. For that, we will generally take line command, pick the first point like this and pick the second point like this. If you zoom to the end points, you can observe there is a gap between the two end points on the left side and on the right side. So to get rid of this kind of errors, we have to use object snap. To use object snap, type OS which is shortcut for object snap. Type OS and press enter, you will get a dialog box. In this, whatever the object snaps you want to use, just check them like end point, middle point, center point, whatever the points. Say for example, I am clearing all these things and I want to use only end point, middle point and nearest point. And make sure that object snap on switching on this one also and say ok. Now if you take line command and press enter, go to the end of a line, you can observe a snap marker with a tooltip end point is coming up. If you click there and go to the next end point, there also you will get the end point snap and click and press enter. Now you can zoom and check whatever the level of zoom you can observe they are accurately snap. So hope you understood. We must use object snap so that we can accurately connect the points. 
okay let's start the practice try to use zoom using your scroll button to bring the required area into the current viewport now let us take line command i am typing l let command prompt and press enter now i want to draw a horizontal line i am picking over here and dragging you can observe the line is coming in angles but i would like to draw a horizontal line so i am switching on ortho mode i am clicking here on the status bar and you can observe the line is coming in horizontal manner so click the second point and press enter to finish so we have got the horizontal line next the first line shown here is of 45 degrees and length 50 units so so again take line command and press enter now if you observe at the command prompt it is asking to specify first point go to the end of the line and when you see a marker object snap marker click on that now as it is showing orthogonal line again i am going to switch off ortho mode because i would like to draw angle lines now the input to draw this 50 units line at 45 degrees in the polar coordinate method is at the rate 50 units less than 45 and press enter now it is asking for the next point we don't have any next point or continuation to this line so just press enter to finish this command now you can observe a line is drawn with 50 units length and 45 degrees then to place a dimension you can go to dimension toolbar and take aligned dimension click align dimension pick the first point click the end point and the placement point third point also we have to pick i am clicking over here when you place dimension you may get dimension text very smaller if so please increase your dimension scale for that you have to type dim scale and press enter now i have set it to 20 units if your dim scale is at 1 unit type 20 and press enter so that when you place the dimension the text height arrow sizes everything will be visible now to place the angle dimension again go to dimension and take angular dimension and click the first line and second line to place the included angle now to draw the second line again type l at the command prompt and press enter now it is asking specify first point go on to the horizontal line now you can observe a nearest point marker is being shown click that point and for the second point again i am going to use polar coordinate method for that enter the input like this at the rate 30 units less than now we have to enter 135 degrees not 45 degrees we have already discussed this earlier so i am entering 135 degrees so that you will get the line as shown above and press enter to finish the line command now to place the length go to the dimension toolbar this dimension toolbar will come in the annotate tab so make sure that you are in annotate tab and then in the dimensions group go to the dimension and then take aligned dimension now click the end point and start point and placement point the third point also we have to pick take appropriate location and click over there now to place the angle dimension click angular pick the first line click the second line and placement okay then to draw the third line type l at the command prompt and press enter go on to the horizontal line i am taking this nearest point then for the second point type in like this at the rate 75 units less than this is 180 plus 45 degrees that is 225 degrees and press enter you got the line press enter to finish the line command again go to dimension take align dimension pick the start point pick the end point drag 
and pick the placement point. Again go to the dimension, take angular dimension, pick the first line, pick the second line and pick the placement point. To draw the fourth line, type L at the command prompt, press enter, pick the point on the horizontal line, take a nearest point and click over there. Then enter the input like this, at the rate 50 units at an angle minus 45. You can enter like this. I'm sorry, we have to enter less than and then minus 45 and press enter. And then again one more enter to finish the command. Then go to the dimension, take a line, pick the first point, second point and placement point. Again go to dimension, click on angular, pick the first line, second line and placement. Now the last line, type L at the command prompt, pick one of the nearest point on the horizontal line and there are two ways we can use direct distance method or we can enter the input in polar method also. As we are working with polar method, let us try to enter the polar coordinate method only. For that, type at the rate 60 units less than 90 degrees and press enter. Again, one more enter to finish the line command. Now go to dimension. Now as it is a vertical line, you can take linear dimension also. Click the start point, click the end point, click the placement point. Again dimension, take angular, click the first line, click the second line and click the placement position. Like this, we can draw lines using polar coordinate system. Let us try to draw the lines using direct distance entry method. Now, here you can observe a square box with the diagonals connected and some lines are drawn. So this is of 75 units horizontal, 75 units vertical. So let us try to draw this object using direct distance method. So again, I am going to use the same command type L at the command prompt and it is asking to specify the first point. I am clicking over here. Now as we are going to work with the direct distance method, I would like to take the advantage of ortho mode. So click on ortho mode and drag your cursor to the right side and enter 75. You can observe a line is drawn with 75 units horizontally. Move your cursor upwards and type in 75, press enter, again move your cursor leftwards and enter 75, press enter and you can take close option by clicking close. So we have got the outer rectangle. Now again type L at the command prompt and we can take the object snap facility. You click on the upper left corner and lower right corner. Even the ortho mode is on as we are working with object snap on directly it will pick the point which is shown by the object snap marker. Press enter to finish this. And again take the line command L and press enter, pick on the lower left corner and again on the upper right corner and press enter. We have to finish the line command always, again take line command, pick the middle point on the bottom and middle point on the top and press enter. Again type L at the command prompt and pick the middle point on left side, pick the middle point on right side, press enter. In AutoCAD, if you want to repeat the same command which is previously used, you don't have to type in the command again at the command prompt. You can directly press enter or space bar so that previous command will be repeated. So I am pressing space bar, so line command is repeated. It is asking for the first point. I am switching off ortho mode. Now I am going to pick the points like this, bottom middle, left middle, top middle right middle and click on the bottom middle, press enter. Again press enter. Now again start point, it is asking to specify the first point. Pick the middle points like this and close. Press enter to finish the drawing. Then to place the dimensions as usual as we done earlier, go to the dimension take linear as this is horizontal and vertical dimensions we will use linear dimensions pick the first point pick the second point and pick the third point third point is location point 
again linear dimension pick the first point pick the second point and placement point so this is how we draw this kind of drawing again if you observe here there is something like a e shape so if we start over here drag your cursor and enter 75 then this is 15 units length each step is 15 units length so move up upwards and then left side 35 units so continuously you can keep on entering lengths so let us try to draw this one okay then so i am typing l at command prompt and press enter pick a point on the screen and drag your cursor we want ortho mode on so you can press f8 function key or you can click on this button on the graph status bar move your cursor right side enter 75 press enter now upside if you observe there is a step with 15 units so move your cursor upwards and enter 15 units press enter then left side if you observe a dimension is shown 35 units over here so we have to move your cursor left side then enter 35 again upside 35 is to be entered press enter then again upside 15 units press enter then right side again 35 units press enter again upside 15 units press enter to the back side to the left side 35 units press enter and to the upside 15 units press enter again to the right side 35 units press enter now the last step 15 units press enter now we have to enter 75 units to the left side and we can take close option so you can observe the drawing shown above is finished to place the dimensions go to the dimension take linear option click start point and end point press enter to place the same horizontal and linear dimension click start point and end point again start point and end point like this you can place the dimensions so this is how to draw drawings using direct distance method friends if you like this video please share my website cybercad solutions to your friends if you have any doubts please email me to this mail id cybercadprabhu at the, at the rate gmail.com thank you and welcome to the next session